Yes, sir. It's your boy JT, and I'm back again with another video today. Uh, before we get into this video, make sure you guys hit the like button. Make sure you guys subscribe. Make sure you guys continue to show love. If you haven't already, make sure you hit the notifications so you can be notified when my videos do go live because you know YouTube be on a bullshit. But anyway, hope you guys enjoy the video. Let's get to the intro. All right, ladies and gentlemen, we are back again with another Madden 24 Ultimate Team video today, of course. In today's video, we're going to be going over the Golden Ticket Release 6 that is currently out right now, along with the Ultimate Legends um, that are currently out. So if you haven't checked out that video going over the ratings for the Ultimate Legends, um, go to my previous video, check that out first, and then come back here. But we're going to be going over the Golden Ticket Release 6. Um, the cards and their X factors. And then at the very ending of this video, we're gonna be going over the Ultimate Legends um, abilities and X factors. So we're gonna check all this stuff out in this one video. So um, let's go ahead and get into it because we do have a lot of content to go over. So um, Golden Tickets release six. So currently this drop is in game right now. We have a Jordan Love QB. We have a Zay Flowers wide receiver. We have a Rodney Harris strong safety. And then we have a I don't know, Cornelius Bennett, I think, left outside linebacker. So that's going to be the golden tickets. So let's start off with this first one here. So we do have Jordan Love, 99 overall QB field general. He has 99 speed, 99 throw power, 96 short accuracy, 99 medium accuracy, 99 deep, 99 throw under pressure, 97 throw on the run, and 98 play action. Overall ratings, pretty damn good. 99s across the board. Um, now let's go ahead and check out his abilities because that's really what's going to tell. So currently he's going for about 1.1 mil. So we all know that golden tickets are kind of not going to be the best players in the game due to their ability buckets, especially when it comes to certain positions like quarterback or running back or something. Um, their ability buckets don't have the three ability buckets. So that kind of is very sad, but he's six, four uh, Packers, Kim, no secondary Kim. He has slinger one release. So that will be the fastest release in the game, but it's not the best release in the game. Of course, the best release is going to be traditional four, um, but his discount ability buckets. Let's check it out. So he does get X factors, angry runs for one bazooka blitz radar for one brick wall for zero gambit for zero, um, charge up high, low dead eye charge up Omaha for one AP. So he does get Omaha, um, pro reads and then running guns. So that will be his X factors. Now his discount ability buckets. He gets backyard QB for zero. A guns gunslinger for zero, no look dead eye for zero, roaming dead eye for zero, and then set feed lead for one, and then threat detector for one AP. Um, and then of course, if you go to his last bucket, so he does get three buckets, but the last bucket doesn't have any zero AP abilities. That's that's the 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 difference between the golden tickets and every other program outside of golden tickets. But um, his last bucket, you can get threat detector for one or set feed lead for one AP, and then of course the other. Uh, player specific buckets after that you can get backyard qb for zero gunslinger for zero no look dead eye for zero and then roman dead eye for zero so essentially what i would do is um honestly to make the qb pretty good honestly because the, the card is pretty good because you can literally literally get sefi lee gunslinger and then backyard qb um literally for one ap and then you can rock um if you want to go fearless you can add fearless on them and then you can do that for five ap and if you want to add an x factor like omaha that'll be six ap so if you do have the ap um, and if you are a Jordan Love fan, if if you like the Packers cam or whatever, then it's a pretty good card. So can't can't complain about it. Next card we do have Golden Ticket will be 99 overall wide receiver, playmaker Zayt Flowers, um, 99 speed, 94 jumping, 99 catch catching, 96 catching traffic, 99 spectacular catch, 98 short route running, 99 medium route running, and 99 deep route running. Um, this card is pretty dope. Like the 99 speed base, gotta love that. Let's check out his abilities. So he's going for about uh is it gonna update here so he's going about going for about 1.3 mil so he's 5'10, 182 ravens kim no secondary position of course what does this change the direction it changed the direction is 99 um did they give him any run blocking it doesn't look like they gave him any run blocking so he only has 65 run blocking that's kind of sad but anyway next his discountability buckets deep in elite for zero evasive for zero mid and elite for zero mid out elite for zero route tech for one ap and slot omatic for one ap why was not why is route tech not zero ap i don't know who made this card like they ruined the zay flowers card i mean it gets route tech for one but why didn't why they didn't put it in the other buckets why would they put it in the last bucket that doesn't this card doesn't make sense 
I mean, if I had to choose, of course, like I said, I like route tech for my receivers. And then maybe route tech and evasive or route tech and jukebox would be great, but they literally did, they put route tech in the last ability bucket. And, and it's gonna cost people one AP to use it. But how I would run it, I would run route tech and then probably evasive and then more more likely deep in elite, I guess. You can kind of choose whatever, deep in, mid in, mid in or mid out. Kind of depends. But if he's gonna be your outside receiver, I probably would go towards mid out elite. If you're gonna if he's gonna be like your slot, I'll probably choose mid in elite or deep in elite. So it just depends. But I don't really like the fact that they didn't upgrade his run blocking and they put route tech at the last ability bucket when route tech should be zero AP. I don't like that. Um, this card is kind of a letdown. His ratings is good, but it's kind of a letdown. I'm not going to lie. Next card, we have 99 overall strong safety run support, Rodney Harrison, um, 99 speed, 98 Excel, 91 tackle, 97 play rec, 99 pursuit, 99 man coverage, 99 zone coverage, and 99 hit power. All around, great card. Good zone, good man, good hit power. Just safety across the board. Very, 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 very good. Now, let's check out the abilities. Please don't mess this up, guys. I would just love to know who came up with these golden tickets. 1.6 mil, that's what he's going for. He's 6'1", 220. Team Chemistries, Chargers, and Patriots. No secondary position. Um, anything in the ratings that we don't know? Oh, he has 98 block shed, which is, ooh, that's crazy. 98 block shed for a safety is nice. Not gonna lie. Uh, his discount ability bucket gets deep route KO for one, deep zone KO for zero, uh, mid zone KO for zero, one step ahead for one, pick arch for zero, and tackle supreme for zero. I love that. His X factors are charge up, avalanche, charge up reinforcement, um, run stuffer, shutdown, universal coverage, unstoppable force, and zone hawk. All that for zero AP. So that's really good for X factors. Now, for his last bucket, he gets deep route KO for one, one step ahead for one AP. And in his other buckets, he gets deep zone KO, mid zone KO, pick artist, tackle supreme. So I would essentially run deep zone KO and then run mid zone KO. That would be my combination. So this is a really good card. Honestly, I like this card. This is probably my favorite out of all of them currently right now. Um, I, lo I love the Rodney Harrison. He they gave him the right abilities and his ratings is good. They upgraded the right ratings. Now this is the last golden ticket for this release. Left outside linebacker, 99 overall run stopper, Cornelius Bennett. Um, this is kind of a random ass golden ticket. I'm not gonna lie, this is kind of random. Um, but 96 speed, 99 excel, 99 strength, 98 tackle, 98 play rec, 99 block shed, 99 power move, and 99 finesse move. The speed is kind of a letdown, to be honest with you. Um, because there's a lot of faster linebackers in game, but all the rest of the stats, all the rest of the ratings look good. Um, like I said, this is kind of a random golden ticket. I'm not gonna lie. Either the person that made this was a fan of this particular player, or the team or something i guess i don't know but he's 6'3 240 um, run stopper of course team chemistry falcons bills and colts um he doesn't get any secondary position anything hidden in his ratings that we don't know he has 99 zone coverage which is good um 64 man coverage that's pretty bad not gonna lie um 99 block shed yeah um his change of direction what is his change of direction if that shows it. he has 99 change of direction so that's good too all right, but his discount ability buckets, he gets edge threat elite for one AP, enforcer for zero, lurk artist for zero, mid zone KO for zero, and then tackle supreme for one AP. X factor abilities, charge up avalanche, dual threat, charge up fear monger, charge up reinforcement, charge up run stuffer, charge up shutdown, charge up unstoppable force, and charge up zone hawk for zero AP. Pretty good X factors there. Now his ability bucket. So, okay, so it looks like he does get avalanche in there. They don't have that in the discounts though. But that's interesting. So he does. So he did give them. He did give him Avalanche for zero. So that's awesome. So what I would run. Um, of course, I'm a fan of Lurk Artists. You got to run Lurk Artists on them. Sadly, you have to. And then it depends on the meta. So if you're more of a KO meta, I would run mid zone. Um, if you're not, then I would run Avalanche because that's becoming a meta. And then I probably would run. I would probably run Tackle Supreme as well, just for one AP because it is just one AP. So that's how I would run it honestly but it's it's a decent card not the best not gonna lie i like the rodney harrison that's probably the best golden ticket of this release but that's gonna be the golden tickets release for release six now let's check out the abilities and x factors for the ultimate legends so 
the ultimate legends that dropped today we got a walter payton a jo uh, joe montana and a larry wilson so let's check out joe montana's because he's going to be i'm pretty sure is he the ltd i think he's the l yeah so he is the ltd not sure what he goes for right now it's loading right now um it looks like he, yeah he's going for about two mil yeah just about two mil outside of two mil um he's six two um team chemistry chiefs and 49ers no secondary position and he still gets traditional one release so they did not change his release which is so sad so sad they didn't change his release um yeah, his change of direction is i is 82 so he is not the quarterback that you that you want to run with but his discount ability buckets he gets fearless for zero gunslinger for zero master tactician for zero pass lead elite for one and set fee lead for zero of course he got the built-in set fee lead for zero and now let's look at his last his, his ability but so he gets dots i knew i knew that they were going to put an x factor in the last bucket of the abilities um so he gets dots so what that is essentially um accurate passers known that know that the ball placement is the difference between a touchdown and a turnover when he enters the zone all passes are thrown with perfect accuracy so if you're looking for a quarterback that is probably not going to throw any inaccurate passes um if you run fearless with this combo yeah that that that's that's op so you can essentially run dots fearless this is how i would run i would run dots fearless and i love pass lead elite on my elite on my quarterback so i would run dots fearless pass lead elite and then i would come back and i probably would put gunslinger for two so that's two three four so that's for four ap you you, you, you can literally get that set up that's how i would run it but a lot of people are probably going to do most likely are going to run dots and probably mad master tactician or something or fearless or something like that and they're probably going to go from there uh but oh wait 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 actually this card already has set fee lead so i don't have to get past lead lead so honestly i'll just run dots fearless and then you can kind of if you want to run master tactician i'm not a fan of it you can run that and then you can just run gunslinger for two and literally you can run all that for three ap so that's so this is a pretty good card it's just he's a very stationary quarterback you can't really do too much with him you can try but it's, it's probably not gonna work um next we have walter payton he's going for 600 some k 5 10 200 pounds bears chemistry no secondary um 99 change of direction what is this juking move? his juking is 98 spin move 98 and 97 trucking his discount ability buckets what does he have he has backyard um hb zero ap energizer for zero evasive for zero route technician for one ap and then tank for zero so tank of course is going to be built in for zero ap now what does he get oh my god he gets angry runs for one ap oh my god i knew i knew i knew they were going to do something like this i knew they were going to do something because we already got a freight train with the with the um the William Perry. So I knew I knew they were gonna do something like this. If they would have made this card 99 speed, that shit would have been insane. And then he gets route tech, which is random for one AP. So I would literally run because he, he he already gets tank for zero. I'm running angry runs for sure. Does this card have jukebox on here? So this card doesn't have jukebox. Yeah, this card better be glad it doesn't have jukebox. I mean, but it has human joystick though. I would run literally angry runs forget route tech i'll run angry runs and possibly energizer or evasive and i'll be good to go honestly yeah this is a really good card and for 600k that's not bad that's really not bad i might actually pick this card up not gonna lie um and then of course the last card we have is the larry wilson that came out too so the larry wilson let's check him out where is he at okay so he's going for about 600k too um he's six foot 190 team chemistry's cardinals no secondary position any other stats we don't know of he has 81 block shed which is good uh what else anything else nope that's it next his discount ability buckets he gets enforcer supreme for zero one step ahead for zero pick arts for zero and then tackle supreme for zero okay and he has built-in pick arts for zero of course and then his last ability buckets he gets avalanche too okay so this is yeah avalanche is definitely becoming a meta and he gets universal covers for one ep yeah this card is good too oh my god this card is cracked you can literally run universal covers for one avalanche and then honestly after that i'll just run tackle supreme literally and yeah he's lit wow crazy and to be a set card this is really good yeah i might pick up this card too not gonna lie 
Oh yeah, I like these legends. Yo, these ultimate legends are becoming some of the best program cards of the game, not gonna lie. To have that X Factor ability in the in a regular ability spot is crazy. To have that and Avalanche, yeah, that's OP. Yeah, but that's gonna be pretty much it for all the cards today. So of course that will be um golden tickets release six and then of course the awesome legend that dropped today let me know down in the comment section what you guys think of these abilities and x factors and who you guys are going to pick up today because we have a lot of content today so let me know who you, who you guys are going to pick up but if you guys enjoyed the video make sure you guys hit the like button make sure you guys subscribe make sure you guys continue to show love and we'll catch you guys on the next